I made a fake one. Yo, what's going on, everyone? We talked about this a couple years ago. We talked about how Netflix could be on the verge of dying or at least losing that steam that they once had a few years ago when they were the juggernaut, the mogul of streaming services. Now, back in my original video a couple years ago, I kept saying the term dying. I don't think Netflix, now, now that I've thought about it and seen it, I don't think it's necessarily going to die immediately. Um, over time, though, the numbers are going to dip. There are just so many more platforms and markets, and there's so many different networks that are pulling their shows from Netflix to force a change and to force you to go to their platform, correct? Netflix has spent so much money on their own shows, but the problem is with that is that if they keep losing subscribers, it's not necessarily going to match up. Some of these shows have gone hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of million dollars in debt. Like I've seen, oh my God, I've seen, like, like there are multiple shows that they have spent way more than they, they made off Netflix, but as a whole Netflix has been banking. So the, their whole focus is while they were number one, they were just making as much stuff as they possibly could that was original Netflix content, okay? And, and that was smart. The problem was is all these other networks and their IPs, they got together and said, yo, we're gonna do exactly what Netflix is doing, but with our brands. And now you have so many different um, streaming services we're gonna talk about it i want to shout out cartoon brew they always put together great articles great reads i love these guys they put together some videos too they got charts data i'm always a fan i've been i've been following this site before i even got it into this just because i always like to keep an ear about what's going on in the world of animation and this is a great article all right so netflix has lost 31 percent of the u.s market share in the past year now you got to take this with a grain of salt on both sides okay netflix is not dying but this is showing you that there is a lot more competition and disney is out here for the fight okay we're gonna kind of break down a little bit of this article um so netflix still leads the streaming service market in the u.s by some way but the market share has decreased in the pandemic because all of these other streaming services have been using their platforms as their hub for exclusive movies right so you had wonder woman on hbo max you like the, the the list goes on and on on um what spongebob the the new spongebob movie on paramount plus you've got all of the, the the disney exclusive movies that are coming to their first right now and that's giving them uh, a high advantage over netflix who netflix puts together decent movies but i like to call netflix movies high budget hallmark movies in the sense of they're not great they're not bad but at the end of the day i'm never fully satisfied by most netflix movies the shows are a little bit different they they have some movies that i did appreciate don't get me wrong but every movie, it's so weird. If it's the Sandler movies, if it's Bright with Will Smith, it, it, there's always something that wants me wanting more. And that's why I compare it to a Hallmark movie. Because some, some Hallmark movies aren't actually bad, but you wish you got a little bit more out of it. I call this a big budget one because they, they go harder. Um, we were watching that Thunder Force last night and there were just some parts that were just so ridiculous. It was like, dude, like this is what I'm talking about. 
if, if, if you take out this 30% and, and put some other cool stuff in here, that's a good movie even for theaters. But it, it's, it's weird. Netflix likes to think outside the box because they have their own streaming platform to do whatever they want. Sometimes it doesn't work though. Sometimes they just be saying, let's do the craziest thing. Sometimes it does work. You got Stranger Things, man. How crazy would have that, like if you were in the meeting room for that, like the pitch for Stranger Things, how crazy is that idea? So they're living and dying by their sword and I do appreciate it, okay? So the streaming giant share has fallen from 29% this time year. Uh, la dang, look from last year down to 20% now. So it was 29% and now it's 20%. Uh, 20 and I can't read today. I, I apologize guys that represents a decrease of 31% Netflix added 36.58 million subscribers in 2020 a company record But the pie has grown faster than the slice due to the entry of new platforms and rapid overall rise in streaming su subscriptions in the country basically what it's saying there Netflix been around there a big dog Netflix went up in price. You've got all of these other services that we're going to get into in a second that are offering free trials, cheap little things. Like we, we got to try on Paramount Plus. We, I think we paid 10 bucks for three months. I think we have one more month and then we're going to kind of um, see if we, if, if we want it. You know, well, I, I, at this point, I have really enjoyed it. I don't know, depending on what content they have uploading, if we're gonna keep it forever, but I did appreciate having all of those old school Nickelodeon shows. And the SpongeBob movie, there there are some cool things in here. Camp Coral was not bad. I know there's some haters on it, but my kids actually like that show. So I, I like to see it through my kids' eyes because they're the target audience. And then I appreciate it a little bit more when I see my kids resonate with something. Um, so yeah, the, the other big players that were established before, before 2020 have also seen their share decrease in the same period. So Amazon dropped from 21 to 16%, Hulu from 16 to 13%, and Disney 12 to 11%. So you got to watch out for Hulu and Disney because Disney controls shares in Hulu. So they they basically own this right here. They they got 24% in the game. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be like they're going to have more than Netflix now if you put it all together. Um, and then it says here a growing portion of the market is accounted for by new entrants. Okay, we got we got new guys. We got HBO Max, uh, we got Disney Plus, Universal's Peacock, which they are smart. They said, hey, we've got a lot of stuff, but Universal, we, we have things to draw people in, but we might not necessarily be able to go toe to toe with every single streaming platform. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna offer a free a, a free uh, ad supported tier package where you can watch this no matter what now if you want the exclusive stuff or there's there's some special things yes you you might have to pay for it i like i like what peacock's doing they're testing the market they're seeing if they can even push this which they have a lot of shows okay nbc is one of those besides the you know their top three to five shows they cancel a lot of shows a lot man so that that is one where that that's one network that that does kind of cancel a lot universal is up and down with movies they have a hit and then they have like two flops behind that hit or after that hit i should say um it was one of those networks that i think they're being smart here uh they're probably yeah they they, they got five percent of the brand um paramount plus just launched and they got three percent uh apple tv okay five percent so guys they, this is cool man um now 
we go into the top five streaming services, you got Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Hulu, HBO, and Disney. So, Netflix is still on top when you look at it, but Hulu and Disney are together. So these two are basically more market shares than this guy right here. And that's what's scaring me because Disney has the money. Now, now, it's going to be very, very interesting to see this number a year from now to see where Netflix is and who comes up. Is Amazon Prime moving up? Are they going to move down now, now that HBO Max and Paramount Plus are in the building? Does Apple move up? I'm, I'm excited. This is a race that this is quite insane when you think of the change of the game so we always talked about cable and remember the tv guides as a kid now it is a is a complete new ballpark the game is completely changed like imagine you're playing a sport and your whole life like the rules were this way now they, they changed every single rule it seems like there might be a an essence of what you're supposed to do but when it comes to services and how we watch content it is a whole a whole new world <laughs> like it, it it it's it it's a crazy time to be alive if you're into entertainment guys um so if, if you look here disney has over 100 million subscribers and they said a lot of that is abroad but still that worldwide is what is keeping netflix alive so that's why i can't I can't say Netflix is dead. They have a good five to 10 years, but I, I said about two years ago, they've got five, they got five years until things start to get rocky. So if that would put, that would be three more years from now to where they're starting to really go. Now I might've said die. I'm gonna say three to five years till things start to get rocky. Now that does not mean that they're going to go under because things get rocky all the time. In the 90s, it got really rocky for Marvel and they almost lost their brand. They almost lost their, their, their comic brand. Like it was crazy, man. The, and the animated show kept them afloat, kind of saved uh, like the animated X-Men, Spider-Man shows that kept them afloat. It kept some toys going. It, it kept some booked or it, it got some books off the shelves that were being sold back then. You know, it, it, it's a weird time, but Netflix can stay through it. They can weather this storm for so long. The question is, is which one of these is going to step up and take Netflix's spot? And if Netflix does get the spot taken, if they get dethroned, what is their next move? You know, it's okay to be dethroned. How do you bounce back? What do you do to bounce back? How do you flip it? Do you get stagnant? Do you, do you change things up? Do you fire some people and bring some new people in? It's exciting. This is fun to talk about. We might be onto something here. The Cartoon Brew is onto something. And this is going to be something very interesting to watch through this next year. So keep an eye on it. What platforms for streaming do you use? Okay, there's a bunch of streaming services out there. Let me know what your favorites are. Let me know the ones you don't like. Thank you for watching the fan club and we'll see you next time. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscription button, and also hit that notification bell to stay in the algorithm. Do you guys support the fan club? You want to help us make our next episode and keep this show running? Well, check out our brand new fan club t-shirts. These are on our Square site. Go check that out. Go check us out on all social media platforms. And thank you for rocking with us, guys.